We're back now with some help and some tips from our Channel 3 Mom Squad. So many emotions come up when it's time to head back to school, especially mm -hmm. if you have a first-time student and your pa all the parents and like first day of kindergarten oh or God, preschool. So exciting. Yeah. Our own Nicole Nalepa got the chance to chat with world-renowned pediatrician and child development expert Dr. Harvey Karp for some great advice. Take a look. The more you're prepared going into a situation, the more uh, mastery you can have and, and the greater sense of, um, of protection, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as parents, that's all we want to do, right? We want to protect our kids, but we also want to do it without being too invasive <laughs> on their independence, right? That they're trying to acquire as we let them go into the schools. <laughs> well, but you know, that's a, actually a perfect point about being invasive because one of the things we tend to do as parents is when they come back was, how was your day? What did you do? Those kinds of open-ended questions um, kids really don't like. Young kids don't like them, older kids, it was fine, nothing really, uh, just work. You know, I mean, they, they don't wax very eloquent in describing those things. Um, so it helps us to be a little bit more um, specific in our questions, you know, um, who are you sitting next to? You know, um, um, who's, you know, uh, where where in the class are you sitting? You know, um, what does your teacher say to start things out? You know, does she pick on everybody evenly? You know, or he pick on people even, you know, some very specific questions that can help to demonstrate that you're not just kind of, that you truly are interested. Mm -hmm. uh, and they may not answer right then. But I guarantee if you do that, you know, um, this week and next week, they're going to sense that you really are invested in finding out because ultimately they want to share, but they don't necessarily trust that, you know, you're not going to judge them or, or try to, you know, tell them how to be. Um, you know, I always like to tell my patients that God gave us two ears and one mouth so that we listen twice as much as we speak. And especially for kids getting back to school, don't rush don't don't feel like you have to solve the problem. You know, first mm -hmm. just kind of hear them out and go, wow, oh, that can be tough, you know, and so that you're implying that they have the capability within themselves to to figure things out. And that can certainly be applied, as you mentioned, you know, to all ages for our children, right? Yeah, especially teenagers and, and preschoolers, because, you know, mom, <laughs> you know, ask something, right? You know, they're kind of, trying to separate from us, which is a good thing. We want them to learn to be independent. Um, and so we can't pry things out of them. Uh, we do have to set limits. So we are parents. So there are expectations like this is the time that you you got to do your homework before you do your Instagram or before you're doing these other things. Um, having rules and expectations is a good thing for teenagers having chores you know, you're doing your homework, that's important, but you also have household chores as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's important teaching responsibility in that way. Um, and, uh, and of course, with responsibilities come rights, you know, when you do these things, then you will get to do the privileges that you're hoping to have so that, and, and for the older kids, even writing a contract, I find is helpful so that hmm. um, two weeks later, they're not saying, well, that's not what I agreed to. You know, you get it in black and white and they feel very adult to sign their name to a contract or an agreement. Um, and it doesn't mean that the agreement, you're not going to take them to court. Right. I right. Mean, right. <laughs> you know, if it didn't work out. You go, well, gosh, we had an agreement, but it didn't work out. What happened? How can we make it work out better? Mm -hmm. So this is really an opportunity to grow, not a, not a chance to kind of wag a finger at a child. Right. Oh, I love that contract idea. I've never thought of that before. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to steal that when my kids get a little older. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Carp. <laughs> All right, you can hear the full conversation with Dr. Carp on Nicole's podcast, Mommyhood Unscripted. It's available on Apple Piecast. <laughs> apple Pie, get it? Yeah, you apple have podcast. that too. Eat your apple pie while you listen to your podcast. Yeah, absolutely, Spotify and anywhere else you can get podcasts, so make sure to subscribe today.